Too many games. Way too many games. Is it too many fucking games? I bought them all and it's a problem. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Guess what? Playing one of your favorite games. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I'm trying to stream. It, it, it wants to, but we're still recording. <laughs> okay. It's just an alert. Yes. Yes, we are playing one of my favorite games. One of my all time favorites. Uh, in the fact that I still own this disc. <laughs> I don't own a working PlayStation anymore, but I still own this Some game. games are worth holding on to. Okay. I still have a small stack of PS2 games that I refuse to play. Well, th that was the coolest part. All my old PS1 games disappeared. Most of the, most of the PS1 games, not all, work on the PS2. This one didn't? It does. Oh, it does. So okay. if I ever, I still have my old PS2. So if you hook it back up, I, if I ever hook it back up, but I need, it, it's so fun because it has the component cables. <laughs> you have the not old AV H, cables. Not, exactly, not HDMI. But you just need stuff. an adapter. Or, well, that and my dog shoot through them. <laughs> Oh, no. So I literally only have video and one audio, <laughs> and sometimes it don't work. Well, because, you know, fun time. I mean, the PS2 cables are fairly cheap stuff. Yeah. It's just, you know, having a TV that has AV output, outputs now is almost not a thing. Right. Kusanagi City, street yeah. Oh, I love, I love sprite art so yeah. much. Yeah. Get, 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 get used to him, because that's us. We won't have the time to play Digimon Online. Yes. So, in this world, Digimon is basically a virtual reality world. Oh, so it kind of works like fucking the same premise as that Mega Man EXE. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because I actually really like that game and sh that series yeah. of games and show. Because the show is what got me into that series of, yeah. like, I, that style of Mega Man. And right. then I got it because it was kind of card game turn-based. Yeah, it was. It was kind of cool. Like, I might pick that up for the advanced emulator at some point. Wait. And Why is it thundering? We're not playing a spooky game. <laughs> Happened with Gwen when, we, when she and I played uh, Prey together. It was thundering uh, that night, <laughs> or that day, and it's like, oh, a spooky game. <laughs> so, International Police located the European headquarters of the tribe group AON. Together with the Army, they raided their headquarters at midnight. So, the AOA are basically kind of, they're considered cyber criminals. I thought it was alcoholics and orgy and <laughs> I don't know what, see, now, now, now you got me thinking, an, al an alcoholic's orgy is usually alcohol. Oh, sloppy. <laughs> well, let me say, alcoholics usually can't get it up. So that depends on how much you've been drinking, honestly. This whiskey dick, yes, it's a thing. Yeah. But. <laughs> Officials believe the arrest will connect recent internet terrorism up to the AI. Yep, they believe it. They they raided the headquarters, they arrested the leaders, they have no concrete proof that they're connected. <laughs> <laughs> so I just keep saying AOA and my brain actually went to the old fucking like late eighties, early nineties song which is AOA, 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 AOA. So I can't remember the name of that song for the life of me right now. So these are your two best friends, Ivy and Teddy. Okay. Right? And this right here encapsulates their personalities whatsoever. What you know. They're late. Teddy apologizing, you know, saying sorry. Ivy, she, I'd be Ivy shitting on you. Immediately <laughs> shitting on you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get mad at it, like the one who's apologizing. Right? Why is she here in the first place? Like <laughs> You're not even acknowledging oh, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a chat. said that I hate They're going to fight right here on the street corner. Ding, ding. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> These hands are rated E for everyone, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what the fuck I was talking about the other day when I was talking to Gwen, and it was about, like, mess making my life purpose messing with someone specifically and it was a line that just came off the top and I went I'm gonna treat you like my special interest and I'm autistic as fuck <laughs> and Gwen fucking die <laughs>
I remember what it was about, but I can't tell you all the recordings. It involves names. So, <laughs> after we get done recording, I'll tell you who it was aimed at. Because <laughs> you, you know who it is, and you'll get a laugh. Okay. Looks like a rat. Okay, I think I Short. Got a color. Yep, yep, <laughs> I know exactly. Not my supervisor. Yep. <laughs> we were talking about me coming back now that Joel switched shifts again. Oh, yeah. Just, like joking about it. Right. Because I can say that name and no one knows who that is. <laughs> we were talking we were talking about because I Gwen told me he swapped to a different shift now. I'm like, oh then maybe I'm not blacklisted anymore. <laughs> it's been over five years. Yeah, or no, no, four years short. It's been over five years. Well, I actually, because before anything got started in stone, nothing went through before I left, so... So here's where she gives us kind of the breakdown. Yeah. A is the balance deck. Okay. So you get Kodemon, Renamon, or Pepe. I know two of those. I don't remember well, Kodemon, so, but I remember Renamon and Pepe. So this game actually introduced three new digit Oh, neat. Okay. For this game, and each one of them... Is, is in one of the lead, parties? Well, it's the lead of a... So that would be Kodamon in this one? Kodamon is uh, the lead of the balance deck. So okay. you have Kodamon, who is a balanced character. Okay, Ren so... Renamon, who is more uh, physical, and then Patamon. Is more special. Yeah, magical. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alternate capabilities A. Right. <laughs> B is the power of pack. Okay. So you have Monmon, who's the new one for yeah. this, this pack. Redundancy package. Yeah. Agumon and Renamon, which are all I know those two. physical attackers. Yeah, I remember. Which one is it that had the, the, the little tank you drove around? Was that four? That was two. Two. Yes. I caught a metal grain by accident. Yeah. Because I had the fucking toy plane. And I ran into it in a dungeon. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> That's big. Here's a plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it joined me and I barely won the fight. And I'm like, <laughs> I caught the big boy. <laughs> and then I never played the game again because it was a rental. <laughs> is the maniac Yeah, kids, if you remember, there was a time... If you don't remember, we're not young enough, or we're too old. Yeah. One of those things of those in things. timeline. Yeah. Because I can't come up with the right words. Thank you, ADHD. We used to be able to rent video games. Uh, so this On is, physical discs. So this from a place the, known as Blockbuster. Yeah. Or Hollywood Video. Or actually Movie Gallery. Yeah. Movie Gallery, yeah. Movie gallery is where I got most of my early DVD collection when they had the dark bargain bin in the area. Yeah. Fucking three to five dollar di discs. And I'm like, mine. I, I would I'd save up money, walk in there with fucking 40 bucks, yep. and come out with 10 to 15 movies and be like, I am set for two weeks. Yep. Watch all of them in three days and be like, fuck, I'm not set for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this pack is basically hard mode. Okay. So you have Kumamon, Giyomon, and figure, Kind of figured by the type, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Kodemon and Monmon both start with, like, a signature move, yeah. like, right out the gate. Yeah. Kumamon does not. He starts out on fucking weekend. Yes. Slowly builds up to be the most powerful, I'm assuming, or one of, of the starters. Mm, still no. No. So there's really no benefit. Like, I think if you raise him right, probably, but I never did. So there's no real benefit unless we know what we're doing with this. Right. Okay. So, uh, as I said, go with what you think is best, because you mean, are in control here. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm thinking about going balanced, because, you know, it is Nice, balanced. even ex experience it is starter. Even, and in my experience, Kodemon is the best of the starter ones. Okay, cool. Uh, Monmon is also fun, but that one, so, all of their digivolutions, except for, uh, well, I'm gonna keep calling him Bearmon. In this game, they call him Kumamon, but later they change his name. Well, I mean, Kuma, Kuma means bear. bear. So. I know. But then in season four of Digimon, yeah. in the fourth series, whatever, yeah. they, they changed. They created a new one called Kumamon. Oh goddamn it! And then they changed this Kumamon to Bear. Ah. So I now know that's the that's the one with the weird hat. Yes. The, the one who's on the intro, intro. Yes. Scene, yeah. Yes. It's so, like I can I can connect dots. I'm yeah. Not entirely helpless. I promise. Right. So yeah, uh, 
intro is this is the most upbeat thing I've recorded so far. <laughs> so uh, everything else is pretty fucking either bleak or fucking darker humor right. or adult humor and shit, because I mean, with Duke Nukem and Prey. Yeah. Blood Omen for the PS1, <laughs> which is a fucking gothic vampire adventure, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Mortal Kombat Deception, which, I mean, honestly, we took that one in the most light way possible, because it's... If you, I don't know if you ever played the, uh, the Conquest book, Deception. Yeah. It's basically run around the village punching people. Okay. You just have a free punch ability, and there's almost no consequence for punching people. Some of them scold you if you punch actual, like, Mortal Kombat characters that aren't villagers, you'll get into a fight sometimes. Like, others will just get mad at you and you won't be able to complete objectives for a bit because they won't fucking accept the item they asked for and asked for from you because they'll be too upset that you punched them. Like, I think it's... We haven't gotten there in the gameplay yet, but I remember the, the, the Nether Realm. It's just the second world you go to. You can run into Shinnok, which is one of the Elder Gods, okay. who's gotten dethroned by the time Deception rolls around. And he asks you to find his amulet. It's somewhere in the city. You go pick it up, bring it back, and if you punch him first, he won't take it for, like, <laughs> until you complete the world almost. Because it takes him that long to reset. So, first we name ourselves. You want to stick as the normal name, or...? Look, you want to come up with something goofy, you come up with something goofy. If you're not feeling inspired today, we'll go with Junior. And you can always do the old Pokemon joke. I never... Dr. Roxo, the rock and roll clown. There's not enough fucking space for it. No. Uh, we'll just go with my... Ah, uh, tell. My yeah. normal, uh... I remember this from Among Us. <laughs> yep. Alright, so yeah, like, so... Balanced Swordsman, he learns to heal. Gets the enemy with lightning and ice, and then she, uh, Pat wants to heal the specialist. You know. So, so you, so, you get two healers at the start, yeah. basically. So, Konemon, it starts out as basically a, uh... Well, a samurai, kind of... Looks like a fencer by the man. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what it's actually called now. I know, and I know. And no student? Kendo. Kendo. Kendo student, basically. Yes. Because the mask, like, I know that the, it's not a fencing mask because it's not the metal mesh, but right. I, I recognize the mask because it's another sword fighting training gear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then you have the monkey. <clears throat> the monkey! Mon, mon. He is fun. His digivolutions Digi make no sense. He's just the design of being a monkey. <laughs> Here's the fun part, right? That's the only monkey in the line. Ah. He then evolved, like, he digivolves into Hookmon, who is a pirate. I, I, he's either going to be a pirate or a grappling specialist, one yeah. or the other. Uh, and then from Hookmon, it's Armormon, which is a metal centaur. Okay. With Gatling guns for arms. Sure. And then his final is Cannonsermon, a giant dinosaur with a giant cannon on his back. They just went all out. Exactly. It makes no sense whatsoever. At least his stay bears or lions yeah. and whatnot. Like bears, because his, his third evo is Grappley Omar. Yeah. It's weird. His all, but they all have a common theme. His knives and blades. Okay. His guns. Guns. His fists. Okay. I mean, at least they kept the theme similar. Yeah. So powerful martial artist. Yep. Has various guns and then balanced swords. So. I love that this game is basically the equivalent of what if we gave a monkey a gun? <laughs> <laughs> well, his gun's a slingshot. Right, to start, yeah. <laughs> and then Pokemon has a blunderbuss. Yeah. And, and then Armormon has Gatling guns. Cannondermon has a cannon. So, yeah. you know, it, it gets better as it goes. I mean, yeah, it improves. As so, all yeah, things do. We're going to go with the balance. Let's do it. And we can switch uh, later in the game. We can switch. Switch Pokemon swap Pokemon there, but swap Digimon out. Yeah. It's not a team of six, it's not Pokemon. Right. <laughs> so when we get the DDNA, as they call it, of the other... DigiDNA. Yeah. Of the <laughs> other, like, mods, we can put them on our team. Yeah. However, they start at level, like, one. I mean, that happens. Even though the rest of your team at that point is probably... Yeah, it's, it's all grinding. <laughs> well, it's all grinding. You'll see You'll see when we get into it, the, the levels are... Weird. It, it is a team-based RPG. I expect nothing but grinding. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of. Grinding. It's like if we if we ever tackle a Pokemon game, I don't expect it to be less than a hundred episodes by the end. <laughs> Especially thirty minutes an episode. <laughs> like we might go a little long on this one since we were a little long in the tooth on the menus, <laughs> but intro to most RPGs takes a minute, anyways. 
Yeah, we're on. We're about the halfway point of a typical episode. As I said, we might stretch a little. Start the start of a series is less important to be on time as it is to establish the series. I will say the cutscenes for this are you can deny them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go in the friggin' cyberspace. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you remember the show Reboot? Uh, it sounds familiar. It was an old Canadian show originally, and then it came to Cartoon Network later, and it was this type of CGI. Oh. And it actually, since we're not, you know, doing anything for right. the phone for this, since we're not streaming, I can pull stuff up to show you things. And it feels good to be not the one, not be the one on the sticks for once. <laughs> We have entered virtual reality. Or we are inside the internet. Virtual space. Yeah. Do these characters look familiar to you? Yes, they do. Yeah, that's Reboot. Gotcha. I remember that. Yeah. So you remember how that, that yeah. fucking animation yeah. looks just like it to me. And I'm yeah. like, oh no. The 90s. They've invaded my fucking computer. <laughs> 30 years later. So, pretty good front speed. Wow, actually, yes. Yeah, but as you can hear... Click, 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 click. I can barely hear it. You can barely hear it? Yep, okay. because I only have one headphone on. Like, uh, I think it's probably focused on the left ear more. <laughs> but, uh... So, I realized after Chris and I finished recording our segments for Mortal Kombat right now, and it'll come out when the episodes come out and we record more, because once he comes back, we have to record more. I never once used the sprint button in the entire time we were on the overworld. <laughs> you already have a decent clip speed when you're on the overworld. Like, you're not slow. <clears throat> but there is a super speed button. Wow. Where you run faster than anyone else in the world, pretty much. Unless they are, like, coded to just get out of your sight really fast. Right. That you run faster than almost everyone in the game. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's the overworld. You're actually not... It's a fighting game with an overworld. What are you fucking... Yeah. It's all a bunch of fetch quests and then random fights. That, yeah. That's that's Mortal Kombat Deception's conquest mode. <laughs> so, also, uh, Ivy changed her name to Kale. That's not right. That is incorrect. <laughs> and then they make fun of her for it. You know, sounds like a guy's name. Trans activism in 1990. <laughs> <laughs> My choice, yeah. yeah. I was too lazy, so I'm still tired. Like, at least he's honest. I respect that. Yeah, at least he's honest. Here's our digi. Unfortunately, he will. Adamon evolves into some decent shit yes. later. Yes, but starting much. off, not at all. But here's the thing: in this game, you know, yes, Adamon isn't he, isn't he the one who becomes Antimon? Yes. Yeah. And they have. See, that. I know some of the early stuff. Serapimon in this game, pretty freaking good. Getting Adamon to Serapimon in this game is a fucking nightmare because he's not that strong. <laughs> he's a healing specialist. Yeah, which means he doesn't do enough in combat Correct. to earn his XP. Correct. Yeah. Now, if you buff him in the magic portion and every because he does have fairly good magic. Yeah, and then give him a really decent attack spell, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. I think just to give him the XP grind. Sort of. Sort of. Like, it's it's a pain, but it's it's there. Um, ignore the ominous thunder during the Digimon game. <laughs> If it picks up on the microphone. I mean, if you watch, if you watch the 20, 2020 reboot, it kind of fits. I don't think I've watched an episode of Digimon since 2004. <laughs> I'm 20 episodes into the reboot. Fair enough. I've heard nothing but good things. It's weird. I've heard that, but I didn't take it as a bad thing. It's... it's. When I remember that one. Yeah. Alright, so you just fight, which is just a normal... Yeah. But it's your technique. Which is, like I said, the, the signature attack. Digivolve, I'm assuming. You digivolve, you can tag out, you use my way. Okay. You can't run through this. Yeah. So, this is just a tutorial battle to show yep. you how to do it. You can literally just tag. 
Okay. And it's a one. It's, it, it's 1v1? Uh, no, it's 3v1. <laughs> oh, do they all? It's 1v1 right now, but I have three Digimon to hit one. No, I mean, isn't like, they don't all come out at once. No. Type thing. I was wondering, no. like, instead of it being... One-on-one -on -one fights. Yeah, instead of it being a true, like, JRPG where a right. team comes out all at once thing, yeah. it runs on the Pokemon engine on that front. Yes. Like, 1v1 constantly, but you have more teammates. Neat. Yeah. Whopping four experience. Okay, it's something. For a tutorial, that's something. Most tutorials I know only give you a drop. I didn't, I didn't break my notes. I should have. <laughs> I, I kept notes on the I'm stage sure. cover. Because um, each, each Digimon has a different threshold. We all also have stuff. we also yeah. have hand research I can do yeah. since I'm not playing. Yeah. So sure, if, if you like ask me, if you ask me to Google something, I will look it up. Because yeah. I'm that's what Chris and I kind of had to do with Blood on or Blood right. on Because right? uh, that is not a game that te teaches you where you need to go. Right. Entire it, it mentions it. Yeah. It's, it says it in, in passing during dialogue. And it's like, where do I, what do I do? <laughs> so they kick you out of that to the Digimon Lab to show you. Afterwards, you come here. You talk to. You can talk to this dude to switch out your uh, your mon, your mon, or its digivolution, yeah. what like that. Each digimon can hold three digivolutions. Out of okay. You unlock them through. You always thought they were progressive from the evolution of the show. Okay. So yes. So you go from one to the next, to the next, so, to the next, and then go back to the base one eventually. <laughs> what I what I don't like about this is you have to bring up the menu to then bring up the menu. Uh, so status. So you can see he has three slots yeah. for his digital. Yeah. Um, at level five, he will learn uh, his true champion. And okay. then through that champion, when they hit certain levels or have certain stats or whatnot, they'll unlock other digital. Okay. And so on and so forth. Each Digimon can unlock every single Digimon. Huh. Interesting. It's a lot easier to focus them in on uh, what you want them to be. Okay. It's a lot easier to do that because I know my my most recent one. I had uh, I'd say most recent my big one that I ever did. I had one that I had like Gallimon, Yelzamon, and a bunch of other strong effects on. One that I had that took so much time. But <laughs> Imperial Clone Paladin mode. Yeah. Which was. Let's just say one. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I see the Cena? This is the where you go to uh, get exclusive items. Oh. Uh, I can't. I can't. I, there's a little, uh, what's with the little oxygen molecule? That is your satellite. Okay. That's not an oxygen molecule. There's three, there's three oxygen right. particles. I was thinking, I was thinking of the water molecule. There's three, not two. So I, I skipped through that. This is... Did you card? Yeah, they have a card game inside. Oh, fuck, so it's like this. Fucking every other RPG that has a card game. In yeah, it. pretty much. You know, pretty like much. me playing The Witcher 3 right now and not touching Gwent with a 10-foot pole because I don't actually understand the rules and right. skip through the tutorial. Because it was a fucking little node on my fucking quest log yeah. to go start a game of Gwent. I'm like, fine, fine, play a game of Gwent. And then I skipped through it, lost, and quit. <laughs> In-game card games all that much. Feels like it's a distraction from the actual game. <laughs> it's like I play The Witcher. Like I, I'm playing The Witcher three for the first time. So I never like I didn't like The Witcher two. Right. Wasn't a game that was really for me. Witcher three's been fun. About six, eight hours in. Barely beat the first town area because there's a lot to do and I yeah. like side quests. Yeah. I like side quests. No, They're So I dove into every side quest in the opening area before I did the boss of the area. I didn't go for the griffin until after I did everything else, and I'm like, oh, I actually really like the combat in this game compared to two. I don't want to do anything else. So, basically, the card, uh, you know, I can't fight any of these guys in here because they are way above my level. Look 
course, at level one. Uh, but basically, you draw six cards, you play your monsters, you have your little, like, basically, you know, trap card. Yeah. Or something like that. Um, yeah, it's a basic card game, but it does, playing the card game does get you certain items and whatnot later, so it is kind of important. I mean, that's fair. I mean, if it's, if it affects the other mechanics in the game, cool. Not too much of, like, but I mean, the fact that it actually has something outside of the core aspects yes. is nice because a lot of card games only give you, like, here's a little extra money if you win, right. but that's all you get for playing this in the base in the full game. You can easily just go grind money elsewhere, leave me alone. It's like I never played the fucking card game in Fable. Like, I did it for the trophy and that was it. Oh. I got the achievement and then I left it behind me. I'm like, I, I, I got, I won my money in Fable 2 and I won't. Uh, Fable 2 was all about the achievement grind by the end for me. <laughs> Fifty dollars. I was, I was saying that maybe we could buy a weapon. We cannot. Not yet. I'm gonna go do something. My favorite, my favorite thing to do is always try to outrun. Yeah, <laughs> Yay! Let's go! This is, again, at least it's not like two where you have fuel. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, such a fucking weird mechanic. So just let me walk around the dungeon. Damn, that took a while. <laughs> the repel wore off, it's fine. The Caterpie. Yeah, basically. <laughs> It is turn-based. I have. Turn-based is great. I like a good turn-based game. Yeah. Bad turn-based games are boring. Good turn-based games are fun. I don't know if you would have ever played it. Did you ever play any old Lord of the Rings games on PS2? I played... <laughs> Little Beatles. I haven't debated that first <laughs> or that second. Um... Oh, you son of a bitch. Did he block? Yeah, he did. And I... He did not. He did not want to go down. He didn't want to go down with the sword. Yeah. <laughs> no, I by the sword. Fuck you. Right. Oh, so we're going to have to run all the way back. <laughs> oh, well. This is how this game's going to be. It's yeah. fine. We're just setting up the fucking... This thing. This caterpiece and walk. Dude, seriously. Did you catch it? No. This is fucking <laughs> right. just whipped your ass. Why? And oh my god! Did you just block it again? You just beat down two of your Digimon. Okay. Uh, Alright, Patamon. Uh, if we lose this one, um. I'm going back to the bid. No, we're, we're restarting. Oh, because, shit. Um, it's game over on deck. So, uh. No whiteout. We didn't say it. No whiteout. So, uh, oh my god. This thing is. If we lose, we'll end the episode and then be no, back no, here. When... No. What I'm saying is, if we lose here, we'll end the episode here. And then start up from where we left off, pretending we won. <laughs> Did he lose? I, I don't mean you, I meant it. Did it finally lose? Yeah, it's finally Look, you're gonna grind Patamon after all. <laughs> well, Gonna have to grind all three. I know, but look, you're gonna grind Patamon after so all. So the fun news is, at least afterwards, they all come back with one HP. But I just picked up the power charge, which means you can level or you can recharge one. one. <laughs> <It's a heal. laughs> which means we don't have to leave yet. No, exactly. But hey, you beat one. Yeah, I beat one. After getting two down, <laughs> that thing. Was determined to win. Are there hidden items in the world? Like you just walk up and pick them up, like uh, an RPG? They're they're not really hidden. They're just there. Yeah. It's uh, that's with the gopher holes. That is for later use. Okay. Yeah. Later, later we will go underground through the gopher holes and go in the water. 
it's another one. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Nuclear blast. Pretty much. It is really shit though when they block those. Burning all your fucking AC basically. Hey, level two. Yeah. Thus we can make this a little bit easier. So you don't gain any stats. Okay, so you have to go in and train it. You gain TP. Okay. And then you add it to your... Which you can use on whichever stack you Yeah. Want. That's nice. At least it lets you allocate freely. Yeah. How much TP did you earn? Up there in the bottom left. Yeah, I earned 5 per level. Oh, and you train one each time per point and you see how much it is. Well, you can use... Mini game. You, yeah. Yeah, the minigame and the minigame is all random. So, I have no control over this. Yeah. So, the fact that he's failing over and over again is annoying, but... You got something out of it. Yeah, you got one. Uh, so, yeah. if you succeed three, it allows you to do a fourth one? Yes. Okay. It lets you do a fourth, and if you succeed the fourth, it's, like, bonus points. Neat. So, but yeah, you can use... One, use up to all of them at once. Uh, well, I'm assuming the more you use, the more chances there are for you to. It's just more experience. Like, oh, okay. See, using one gives me one per whatnot. Yeah. Five gives me probably about five to six per. Okay. That's but if you use all five and you fail, then you don't get anything. You get nothing. Yeah. So it's like, uh, Better off to spend the small least, amounts at the beginning. At least early, yeah. And then once you start moving forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Gonna spend all, all yeah, yeah, yeah. strength just so I can start knocking shit out. One hit to start. One hit if to start, yeah. Because his his speed is kind of low, so we'll probably just speed max. Oh, look at that. Six. Oh yeah. Oh, so close. Hey, we still got six. Yeah, yeah, you did good there. Love that. One more time. Cool. You get one full success? Nope. Hey, three again, though. Not complaining. Yeah. Alright, well, we're up to 77, so that's solid. We were at 50. Something. Something, so. Something along those lines. So now, our basic attack should hopefully knock down one in one go. Okay. It up, it up by a good amount. So you almost gained 20. Yeah. If not 20. I didn't see what the base was. I, <laughs> I think it was, it was like, it was anywhere Me, Reed, never. <laughs> it, was, it was between 50 and 56. I say that after, you know, uploading VODs of me playing the Dead by Daylight dating sim, where it's nothing but reading for two hours each. I slapped it. Yeah. Ooh, close. See, did a lot, I did a lot more. Yeah. Smack. Not nearly as damaging as the worm. <laughs> Is there like one Digimon you don't want to run into in the first area? Uh, in the first area, no, it's fine. It's just those two. In okay. the first area, it's just those two. I didn't know if they had like a secret hidden one that could just beat you in one no. shot if you didn't. So, as soon as you go this way, okay. and you leave, you start running into stronger ones. Figures. Yeah, as you move down routes and all like, that. Literally one route next to So you're kind of stuck right here. Hey, <laughs> grind is a grind. Grind is a grind. Like, I think we'll probably get to maybe a three for each here. And then we'll go up. up. Smack! Is there a button to block, or is it just a stat? It's, it's just a stat. Okay. But... I didn't know if it had some reactive stuff to it. It's like my freaking... Like, when you 
throw a Pokeball in Pokemon and you hold B. Yeah, it just feels right. It feels right. Yeah. Especially when it works. Yeah. It's like For I me, it's not B, it's the shoulder buttons. Oh, really? Because I start, remember, I started Pokemon Game Boy Advance. Ah. So I was used to just spamming shoulder buttons as like a, you know, it's therapeutic when anything. Right. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> Everyone hears a different rumor about how to make the ball work better, so... Down at me at the right time. If your timing was off, that's on you, bitch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if, if you tap T, like... Or you know what, you know what Game Boy game I've been wanting to... It's, it start, triangle starts with T, it works. You know what fucking Game Boy game I plan on doing eventually, and I don't know who's gonna play it with me. Someone's gonna play it with me. Legacy of Goku. Oh. That, that trilogy? They're fun. That trilogy is one of my favorite Game Boy Advance trilogies. Ever. I have I have two of Boo in on uh... I didn't even know Boo existed until way later. Oh yeah. I got to play it the first time on my hacked PSP. <laughs> I sat there and played the whole goddamn thing through in like three days. I'm like, I love this game. <laughs> it's like I even went and beat some of the secret bosses in Boo's Fury. Like where you get to go fight Cooler and yeah. everything. Which a lot of people didn't even know that battle existed. <laughs> Little Bossa Nova. Save it green. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and call it yep. on the first episode. Look at that. We started a new adventure. Yeah. Saving. I mean, it happens. Just so that that pop up's gonna be gone long before it finishes, I think. Yep. No, it's gonna keep popping up. It keeps back popping up. up. <laughs> it's saving different things in chunks, that's what it's doing. <laughs> So it saves each individual Digimon, that's oh, yeah. hilarious, instead yeah. of it being one big pile. Yeah. Alrighty, um, then we will pick this up on the next one, right? Yep. I enjoyed this game so far. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's a fun little, it's you know, it's a, it's a chatter game. Yeah. Which is the best part. Yeah. Well, there so, aren't a lot of those that I've been doing lately. It's like... But for action, action, go. I mean, not that Gwen and I ever shut up anyways. <laughs> right. But... Alright, we'll see everybody in the next one. Yes. Have a good day. Bye.